Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Shri Momo Bhutia and I'm working as an ICT instructor at CSRI Secondary School Arithang under Sibin Group. So today we are going to study the chapter Introduction to Computers where you will be learning some basic fundamentals of computers. In this session you will be covering computer its definition, the input process, output process, hardware definition with some examples, software definition and its types, then examples of software, data and information and finally the block diagram of a computer where you will be studying input unit, output unit and the different parts of the central processing unit. So let us get started. Okay. Now we all know that computer is an electronic device or electronic machine and most of the machine works in three parts that is input, process and output as shown in the figure. Now to understand this let's take a simple example a real life working of a washing machine. See in this washing machine is also a machine so at first it takes the input from the user that is us by taking the dirty clothes and then it processes it by washing that dirty clothes. Finally the washing machine gives the output as the clean and dry clothes. Then I have already told you that computer is also an electronic machine it also works in three parts so it takes input from the user in the form of data and then processes or stores it and then finally gives the output in the output devices to understand this process let's see another example where we have to add two numbers that is 2 and 7 in this at first the user has to type the numbers 2 7 and then the plus sign after that the computer processes it that is it adds the two number 2 and 7 finally the result 7 is displayed on the monitor see here in the picture i've shown you how a computer works the, com the user will input the instruction via some input devices like keyboard then the computer will perform the operation and then finally the result will be displayed on the monitor the next topic is data Data are raw facts and figures which have no meaning. See here in the image I have shown you the data from the user side and also the data from the computer side. Here we can see that there are different types of data like characters A, B, C, numbers 1, 2, 3, text and various symbols. So basically data is a collection of characters, numbers and various symbols that has been coded in order to be given as an input to the computer. Now at the computer end, we see that the, this data, the same data has been converted into machine or binary language that is made up of zeros and ones. You are taking a bako banda khareche, computer only understand machine language. So another job of input device, see user le mail aagi baniyaro, input te kosa dincha, they gave it through the input devices. So another job of input device is to convert the human understandable data into machine language that is made up of zeros and ones so that it could be understood by the computer. Then the next topic is information. See, data is basically the input. Alright, now information is the process data that is the output that is produced by the computer. Let's see some examples to understand the difference between data and information. Just say hotel ma zanda kari, hami lekhana rukhai kochi dinner, after lunch we get some receipts, right, after the dinner process. Then in that receipt we see various variables like food ko naam or runza, food ko items kati rali runza, then there are prices also and then the date also. So these variables are all data. Now the hotel manager will add up the number or the price of the data items and will give you the receipt, which is the end product, that is the information. Another example of data and information can be that of a timetable that is created in schools. All right. In that the variables like number of periods, timings, subjects, these are all data. When that data is processed and the final result that is the timetable is produced, that timetable is the information. Here I have shown you another example that is the mark sheet of students where we have to calculate the percentage of a student. Now, yes, my unlucky time to one we require marks of the students in order to calculate the percentage. Now, these marks are the data. Then, based upon the marks, then this data are processed 
after which the percentage is derived which is the information so information is basically the summarization of the data that we are giving or feeding into the computer as input okay now we come on to the next part that is hardware hardware are nothing but the physical components or tangible components of the computer that we can see and touch here we see various examples of hardware in the input devices our input devices here no problem maybe see mouse keyboard you know then output devices here no problem maybe monitor speakers then we have storage devices such as cd ram hard disk and we have internal components also motherboard processor so these are all the devices that can be seen with naked eyes or can be touched so these are all the examples of hardware then the next part is software now computer software is a collection or a program that has been designed in order to perform a well defined function basically computer software is a sequence of instruction that has been given to the computer to perform a specific task now this computer software can be further divided into three parts that is system software application software and utility software first we'll study about the system software अब सिस्टम सफ्टवेयर में भादा खेल दिस सफ्टवेयर आर बेसिकली डिजाइन इन अर्डर टू अपरेट और टू एक्सटेन्ड और एनहेंस द प्रोसेसिंग केपेबिलिटीज अफ द सिस्टम नाउ हियर वी सी वेरियस एक्जापल्स अफ सिस्टम सफ्टवेयर वन अफ द मोस्ट कमन एक्जापल अफ सिस्टम सफ्टवेयर इज दी अपरेटिंग सिस्टम जस्ते विंडोज बिस्टा भो विंडोज सेवेन भो इन टर्म्स अफ फोन में हेमें एंड्रोइ भो विथ दिज आर अल सिस्ट एक्जापल्स अफ सिस्टम सफ्टवेयर विच एक्ट्स एज द medium or interface between the user applications and the hardware now system software che basically ke huncha the inbuilt e huncha and are designed by the computer manufacturers another type of software is application software as the name suggests this software are basically designed for the end user to cater a particular environment here we see various examples like word processing software bio database management system bio browsers bio these are all examples of application software now application software che it can come as a single program for example microsoft windows ko jun che notepad sa which are used for creating and editing text is an exam is a single program and, and is an example of application software or application software can come also as a collection of programs which is known as software package to say ms office ma cha ms office ma we have word processing software that is ms word we also have presentation software like ms powerpoint then we have spreadsheet application that is uh, ms excel and then we also have database software that is that is ms excel so this is all about the application software finally we have the third type of software that is utility software now our utility banali ke bujhinchha basically it is used to uh, it is used to enhance or maintain a computer so this utility software are designed to optimize organize analyze or either maintain the computer as compared to in contrast to application software this utility software is used to maintain the computer infrastructure whereas application software is aimed at the end users now various examples of utility software are antivirus software bio file management software bio text edit editing software now another example of utility software can also be a defragmenter which is used to optimize the hard disk so these are the three types of software now i have shown you the images of various types of software in the first image you see different types of system software that is operating systems like windows xp windows 2000 windows 7 uh, apple ios these are all examples of operating system which in turn is a system software arco is image ma you are seeing examples of application software like various games youtube whatsapp which is designed for the end user and is an example of application software then finally the last topic that we are going to discuss is block diagram of a computer now i have already told you that computer works in three steps that is input process and then output 
will be discussing in detail about this. Now input, I'll discuss it later on. In the processing part, we have the CPU, that is central processing unit. And then the output. Now input unit, it consists of all the input devices that are used to feed or enter data into the computer. I'll show you some images of input devices. Here we see various examples of input devices like keyboard, then we have joystick for gaming application, scanner, then we have pointing devices like light pen. So these are the devices that are used to feed the data and instructions into the computer. Now another job of input device is also to, con uh, is also to convert the human understandable data and instruction into binary or machine language that is understood by the computer. Then after the user enters the data, we come to the processing part of the computer which is the central processing unit or CPU. Now CPU is also known as the brain of the computer because it is responsible for all the uh, data and data and instruction processing that happens in a computer. That's why it is known as the brain of the computer. This central processing unit is further divided into three parts that is control unit, arithmetic logic unit and memory unit. Let's talk about control unit first. As the name suggests, it is used to control all the operations of different parts of the computer. The data and instructions, it was the removal of the computer math from the input device to arithmetic logic unit to uh, output device, it is done through the control unit. Okay. However, in control unit, the actual data processing activity say it does not happen in control unit. All right. Then the next part is ALU, that is arithmetic and logic unit. Now, arithmetic and logic unit, it performs all the arithmetic operations like plus, minus, multiplication, division, and also logical operations like relational operations, by your comparison operations, the state. Uh, greater than, less than, equal to bio, and also to manage various data. Okay, so here actual processing takes part. Then the final part of the central processing unit is the memory unit. Now here we are talking about the main memory or the primary memory of the computer. Now this computer memory is further divided into large number of small parts known as cell. And each cell has a unique address. Now this memory unit is used to store all the data and instructions that are required by the CPU to perform various operations. This memory unit is further divided into registers and cache unit. Now let's talk about register first. Java, I mean users are really computer my input also. Whenever we give input to the use uh, to the computer, it is first stored in the register. Also, when the computer gives back the output, that is the intermediate results of processing, it is first stored in the register before it is given to the output devices. So, registers are basically used by the CPU to store all the data and instructions that are given by the users. Now, another part of memory unit is the cache memory. Now, the cache memory it is a very high speed memory. It's much it basically we are storing only the uh, frequently used data and instructions that are used by the central processing unit or CPU. Hence, it, it speeds up the main memory. Your cache unit chip, it can be connected directly to the CPU chip or it can be connected separately via a bus connect. So, this is the processing part of the computer. Finally, we have the output unit. Now, out, once the processing is complete and the output is, that is intermediate result of the output is produced, it is to be given to the output device where it, is been, where it will be displayed and be seen by the user. Okay. So, here we see various output devices like monitor, printer, by your projector, by your speakers, headset, where, from where the users can use the output that is produced by the computer. Our output device ko arko kanti ki sabandakri. I've already told you that computer always gives back the output or result in binary form. Our computer ko dey result directly output device nine ki unsa. We won't be able to understand it. So another important function of output device is to convert that binary output into 
human understandable language so that it could be understood by the users. So this is the main block diagram of a computer where we have studied three different parts of a computer. Now these are the basic fundamentals that we have studied. To sum up, we have studied the definition of computers, we have studied hardware, its definition and some examples, we have studied software and its various types, we have studied the difference between data and information via some examples and finally the block diagram of a computer where we studied the input unit, the different parts of central processing unit and the output unit. All right. If the students have doubt regarding any topics that I have covered in this session, they can always contact me by calling me up or uh, messaging me in my WhatsApp number. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel named as Chiring Wongu Butia, where I have uploaded uh, nearly four videos for the chapters in computer. Okay, and so stay home, stay safe, and happy learning. Bye.